Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama, and today I'm here to do a review of the brand new 12 Little Diapering Clutch. I'm afraid that the video might get kind of long because I do want to take all of your requests and give them um, attention and consideration, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be filming this video in segments, um, and I'm going to put some timestamps down in the description box below with descriptions of what each section is. And that way, you can kind of click around and watch only the things that you want to see. So the sections are going to be like this. Uh, section one is going to be just an overview of the bag, all of its features, and how I have it packed up. Section two is going to be comparing this to other various pouches and clutches that you might be familiar with so that you can get an idea of how this is different and unique. Section three, I'm going to be putting this inside of various diaper bags that you guys have asked to see how it fits inside of. So I'm gonna do the BFF, the Be Right Back, the 12 Little 3-in-1, the Lily Jade Megan. I'm just, I'm gonna pull out as many bags as I can and we're gonna stick this down in there and um, see how it fits. Now, I personally feel that this was meant to be more of a standalone bag. It is very big, as you'll see in a minute. Um, so it, it can fit inside of diaper bags, but I truly feel that this is something that you're going to want to use more as a bag for short trips um, or as an extra bag to your diaper bag if you're wanting a quick on-the-go clutch for just your diapering stuff. But I think there are a lot of people who will want to put this inside their diaper bag, so we'll definitely go over that. That leads me into the fourth section, which is going to be on the body. I am going to put this on, show you how it looks cross-body and over the shoulder, um, and just give you an idea of how this is going to look if you wear it on its own as its own unique bag. So if you're not interested in seeing the whole video, make sure you look down in the description box so that you can click right to the part of this video that you wanna see. If you wanna see the entire thing, just keep watching. All right, so this is a brand new product from 12 Little. It is a diapering clutch. And I wanna make sure that I'm really clear about that because this isn't a pouch. A lot of people have been saying, well, is it a glorified Be Quick? No, a Be Quick is a pouch. This is a clutch, which means it is kind of designed to stand on its own. This is the blush color. It does come in three other colors of black, leopard, and camo. Um, and I'm gonna be having those in the shop any day now, so I'm really, really excited about getting those. The fabric is kind of a quilted fabric, which I usually don't like, but I actually really, really love it on this bag. It's super cute. The uh, logo here is like a faux leather, I believe, and it's almost kind of a shimmery blush pink. It's very, very pretty. Now, uh, my Jujube fans out there are gonna love to see this because I know a lot of people were disappointed and didn't score on the release night of the rose gold prints. Well, at least the blush one uh, of the, the 12 Little Clutch does have rose gold hardware and it is beautiful. You do have two zip around zippers and I always love that feature in a clutch because it means that you can get a really nice big wide opening. And that leads me to one of the coolest features of the bag. Do you see how I've zipped this all the way down to this little crossbar right here? This unsnaps, or it can stay snapped, and basically what this is, is it's just something that stops your zipper from going all the way down. And the reason why they've done that is so that you can just open the bag halfway down and just peek down in there and see everything that's inside the bag for quick access. So this way, if I need a diaper, I can just pull it right out and I'm ready to go um, without the whole bag flopping open. On the other hand, if I decide that I would prefer to open this bag all the way up, I can actually undo this snap right here. It stays attached, so you're not gonna lose this little piece. It only attaches uh, on one side there and it stays attached over here. So I can remove those two and now the bag will actually zip all the way around. After you unzip the bag all the way, it lays completely flat like this. And I love this feature so much. I do think it's great to leave it halfway zipped so that you can just reach your hand down in there and grab something that you're looking for, but to be able to open this all the way up and see everything that's in there is just incredible. So since I've got this open, I'll go ahead and walk through the features of the inside of the bag. You can see over here on this side there are two elastic straps. This is a perfect place for keeping a Y pouch case. Now I have mine actually in here upside down from the way that I would usually put it. Just if I, if I were just throwing this in ordinarily, I would put the zipper or this little part up here on this side and basically turn the whole thing around. But I have it positioned this way because this actually causes the uh, 
opening of the Y pouch case to open this direction so that that way when I have this all closed up, if I don't open it all the way out, I can just peek inside here, pop that open and get to my wipes really easily. Whereas if I had this turned the other way, this would actually open downward and I, it would be very hard to get my wipes out. So those are sitting that way. So I elected to put my change pad back there. This change pad does come with the clutch, so that is included in the price. Um, and that just fit really well behind the Y pouch. The next kind of component of this clutch is the removable mesh pocket. So I've got it snapped in there right now, but it really easily snaps right out. And in here right now, I just have a whole bunch of things that I typically need for diaper changes. I have his ointment, some Lotrimin. Um, I have a Grovia cloth wipe because sometimes when my son, if he gets like a rash or something, he's just not gonna let me wipe him with a baby wipe. So I'll get some warm water and use this instead. So I like having one of those on me. Um, and I love that this snaps in and out. Like if you decide that you don't need this, you just don't put it in there, it's fabulous. I also think because this is a bag that I do plan on using as a purse, um, this would be a really great thing for putting makeup, um, feminine products, and things like that that you could just snap right out of your bag and take it to the bathroom if you didn't feel like carrying the whole thing with you. Over here we have the slot where I have put my diapers. Now this is actually like when you buy this clutch, you will find your change pad over here. It comes inside of this little pocket right here. You can keep it there. Um, I tended to like it better over here in the elastics, but that is where you'll find the change pad when you open this up. As of right now, I have um, two size five diapers and three size one diapers, as well as a change of clothes for my daughter. Um, I could also fit my son's clothes in here, um, but the clothes that I had put in here, I actually had to get into earlier and they're dirty now and the kids are sleeping. I am not going in there just to get a clean pair of pants to show you. But um, a size two pair of pants, 2T, will fit in there. It's a nice, big, spacious pocket with plenty of room for either cloth diapers or disposable diapers. It just, it fits a ton. So now that I've emptied everything out of here, I'm just gonna snap this back in so that we can get a really good look at all of the features. I do love that even the little removable mesh pouch here has a really, really nice um, rose gold hardware, the nice faux leather tassel or, excuse me, zipper tab. Um, just every element of this bag is elegant and put together really, really nicely. And all in all, it is just a simply, simply beautiful bag. So for those of you who aren't really interested in seeing the other segments of this video, why don't I go ahead and talk to you about my overall opinions of the bag so that you can walk away knowing kind of what I think about it. Um, I know a lot of you kind of trust my opinion and I appreciate that so much and so I, I just wanna to talk to you about my overall thoughts of the bag. I'm gonna go off topic for a quick second but I promise I'm gonna bring it back full circle to this bag. Um, in my past life, I was a, uh, I was a cognitive psychologist. I have a PhD in cognitive psychology and all my work before I started The Sensible Mama was all about the brain, how it works, how it's tied to emotion and decision making and things like that. When I finished my PhD, I joined a company called Dakota that was actually owned by my husband. That's how I met him. And I led the team that basically did the cognitive component of their social media marketing. And what does that have to do with this bag? Well, one of the things that we were really focused on was figuring out what products out there in the world are game changers. What are the game changers that are going to absolutely disrupt the market, change the way people think about products or the way they use products? And one thing that my research found was that whenever people say something about a product that begins with, I was skeptical at first, or I had my doubts before I tried it, for whatever reason, when people use that kind of language, that is a high, high, high predictor of products that are going to be game changers. The reason why I'm bringing all of that up right now is because that was my exact phrasing when I first saw this bag on the order form for 12 Little. I saw the picture of it, I had no idea what the features were, but I saw that it was listed as a clutch and I saw that the price point was $75 and I said, 
um, you guys can just miss me with that. <laughs> I said, I, I do not see how this, this could be justified at $75. I'm not bringing it to the store. Thank you very much. And one thing that you guys might not know about being a retailer with a YouTube channel is that I constantly get product from brands. They send it to me and they say, try it out, see what you think, do a review of it, you know, and if you like it, you can bring it to the Sensible Mama. And, you know, I, I graciously accept those offers and I spend a little time working with the product. And if I don't like it, I tell them thanks, but no thanks. I send it back to them and, and I don't bring it to the shop. So 12 Little was one of those companies who, after I had placed my order for all the other things that I carry, um, they reached out to me and they said, hey, can we send you the new clutch for you to try out and see if you like it? And I said, sure, yeah, send it my way, but I just don't, I don't think anyone's going to want to spend $75 for this bag. Um, but you could tell they were very confident that if I saw it in person and gave it a try, I would understand why it's at the price point. And, and I was skeptical at first, <laughs> but I get it now. I totally get it. Let's talk about why. Reason number one is that this is not a glorified diaper pouch, okay? This is a standalone diaper bag. It doesn't have bottle pockets, obviously, so this is for the short trips, but um, it's, it's, it's not a be quick. It's not even like a Logan and Lenora clutch. It is a big, heavy duty clutch that can carry a ton of stuff in it. This bag definitely has more hardware on it than uh, your typical diapering pouch would have. It's got the two zippers, D-rings, so you can hang this from your stroller if you want to. It comes with a messenger strap, a full zip around zipper, and it comes with a change pad. So those are all things to consider. It also comes with the removable mesh pocket here, which you do not get in a pouch. It has the elastics here for keeping um, your wipes or anything else that you want to hold down with elastics. Um, and so these are all features that you don't get in a regular diapering pouch, which is why they call this a clutch. The other thing that makes this uh, different than a pouch that you would buy for $30 is the big roomy space in the back. Now, if you're used to the Be Quick or the Logan and Lenora um, wristlet clutch, you know that those both do have a zipper pocket, but it's just not as big as this one. This one can hold so, so much. It's just, I just got back from the grocery store actually, and I had my phone, a small set piece, and my enormous, enormous keys in there, and it all fit just fine. So it is a little bit more like a purse actually than like a straight up diaper and clutch. And for me personally, the overall organization of it is a huge sell. I love these little stoppers here that actually keep the zipper from going all the way down. It stops, uh, it prevents the be right back effect, you know, with the be right back where you unzip it and it flops open and things might fall out. Um, this just stops that from happening because you cannot zip it all the way down. But I'm able to see right down in there everything that I have packed up. I can, let's just say that I'm getting ready to change a diaper, right? Oh, diaper. Wipes. change pad, cream, all ready to go. All right there, just so easy to get in and out of, so practical. I just, I love that, I absolutely love that. Being able to access all of your stuff really quickly when you need to do one of those traumatizing diaper changes uh, is a big deal. But it is also really nice when you find yourself in one of those luxurious restrooms where you can, it's like a one staller and you have all the space in the world for doing your diaper change. It is really nice to undo those little tabs and be able to open your diapering clutch all the way up and just slowly and gingerly pull out everything for diapering. I just love that so much. I do not own um, any diaper pouches that could actually fit a change of clothes in there with all of my diapering stuff. So that's another big plus to me. Um, it's just, this thing is amazing. And, and that's my thing. I honestly was not going to bring this to the sensible mama because I said I wouldn't spend $75 on it and I would never ask my customers to spend $75 on it. But man, now that I've seen it in person, I just get it. I get it. It is worth the $75. And the way I justify it is if you would, sp I remember back in the day when I said, who would ever spend $75 on a mini B? <laughs> and now I own so many of them. I think I have three mini Bs and it just, 
you realize why the, the Mini B is $75. It's because it's functional, it's comfortable, it carries all the things that you need without being overbearing, and this is exactly the same way. So that is the overview of the bag, its features, and how I have it packed up. Don't forget that I am gonna be coming out with a Five Ways Wednesday where I'm gonna show you all of my ideas for this, um, using it as a date night bag, as a church bag, as a snack bag, just I have so many ideas, so be on the lookout for that video. Now let's move on to the next segment where I'm going to show you how this compares to various other pouches. Easy as pie, lemon, apple, or cherry, love and you is so very sweet, 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 how can it be such a... Alright, now let's move on to the next segment where I'm going to show you how this fits into various diaper bags that you're already familiar with. Love and you is a pun, it's sweet, 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 how can it be? And you make my candy coated heart melt When you take my hand and I am under your spell Baby, I crave your affection When I stepped in sweet confection I need your my sugar I'm pleased as punch Whether spiked or sparkly You make me tipsy and bubbly If you're dessert, I want the last cups first Oh, I love all your candy kisses And I'm a need a ticket Oh, 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 I can't have just one, no When I stepped in sweet confection I need your my sugar 